You all write bad code. Every last one of you. That's why you're here. Watching these. <laughs> um, uh, joins are a part of queries that are particularly sensitive to, uh, to bad code. And when I say bad code, I mean shortcuts. Shortcut code. It's like taking a shortcut and getting stuck in traffic. Everything that's a shortcut to you, anything that makes writing a query easier for you, often makes it far more difficult for the optimizer. Um, things like, you know, functions or case expressions. I'll, when you use those relationally, I don't mean like in a select list. I mean like, you know, if you use those in joins and where clauses, you can severely mess things up. It's not, not pretty. So again, when you, when you take those shortcuts, when you, when you say, I'm going to write this code in a way that goes quicker for me, be prepared for repercussions when the optimizer has to figure out just what the hell you mean. <sighs> One good example of that is when you put uh, or conditions in joins, right? And uh, this is a somewhat complicated query. Not like very complicated. There's just a lot of stuff. There's a lot of things going on in it. There's there's this table which is going to get us information about questions, and then or rather, this common table expression which is going to get us uh, information about questions, and then this common table expression which is going to get us information about answers, and then this common table expression which is going to make sure that we did not self-answer anything. We're, we're going to join those together, and then this common table expression, which is going to join to the votes table. And this is where our problem begins. We're going to join votes on one on the answer ID being equal to the post ID or the question ID being equal to the post ID. Whew. Yeah, let's run this query. Let's see just how awful this is, because I'm willing to bet that on the scale of awfulness, um, I mean, it's not going to take an hour or else <laughs> I would have, wouldn't be here. I'd be doing something else. I'd be taking a bath, letting Calgon take me away. Now, in query plans, uh, there exists a chunk of XML which can help identify when stuff like this is happening. Unfortunately, uh, it shows up for a lot of things. I was gonna write a rule in it for SP Blitz cache, but unfortunately, um, the XML parsing that it would take to correctly identify when this happens in a join would have been pretty bulky and unwieldy, and there's enough going on in there already. I mean, like, you can just look at the query text, and did you see a join with an or in it? Just smack whoever wrote it as hard as you can. All right. So that runs for 14 seconds. All right, we'll go look at the query plan. It is not a fast query, 14 and a half seconds, 14.573 if we're going to pretend to be exact here. And where does the problem start? Boy, oh boy, where does it start? Well, we have a lot of stuff going on over here, but uh, by the time we get anywhere interesting, all right, we get up. Oh, uh, we get on up over here. We hit about four seconds. Mm. Mm -hmm -hmm. And then when we get to here, we are now at fourteen and a half seconds. And if we scroll all the way down and all the way over, we can start to see where our problems arise. So let's take a quick step back. Notice this hash join right here. The number of rows that come out of this hash join is 2054907. If we boogie on back down to where we just were, we have two constant scans that each produce 2054907 rows out of one, a slight misestimate. Itty bitty misestimate. Um, so that happens. <laughs> All right, we get the constant scan here. And SQL Server is like, ah, well, I can turn that into fewer rows. And right, I can take that 2 million rows, 2054907. That's, that's about 2,500,000. I was like, and I bet I can, I can squish that down into less. But we, we, we never actually do. 
we, we concatenate that and we we continue to make a poor guess so four 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 point one million out of out of two and we we have that again here we spend about six seconds <laughs> sorting four point one million rows huh? you can see you can see that happening those order buys right fun stuff and then we spend another 200 or so milliseconds trying to merge things together and we do, we do a pitiful job there and then we do with this index seek right here this doesn't just happen once of course this happens 4.1 million times so the reason why we spend about 10 about 14 about wait, what was it let me make sure that i'm being accurate here the reason why we spend about 14.5 seconds in this branch of code down here is mostly trying to um, create a unique set of uh, rows from the results of that hash join. So that hash join is actually what's feeding into these constant scans, right? Hash join right here, and then all those rows emit from over here. We do this nested loops join 2054907. And what happens over here? We execute this index seek. Uh, come on, where are you, Jimmy? Number of executions 4109814. So lots of good fun times there, right? Lots of awesome stuff. And we could avoid all of this awful, awful work if we just break that join up. So we're not going to touch any other part of the query. This is going to stay the exact same. This is going to stay the exact same. This is going to stay the exact same. What we're going to do is take that or and have one side of it represented here, union all, have another side of it represented here, and then we're going to do the exact same thing selecting out of it. So let's do that. Let's highlight all this. And now let's run this query. And I'm going to bet that this is faster, not only because I've done this demo a bunch of times, but because <laughs> it just usually happens when you, you take an or out of a, out of a join that things, things, things get better. So let's go find uh, where that was happening, or let's go look at the plan to see what happened instead of all that malarkey. Well, pretty nice. Uh, we have one scan of the votes table over here rather than... Uh, 4.1 million seeks of the votes table. So for all you people out there who get on your uh, obviously high horses and talk about how seeks are better than scans, well, not always. Not always. Not always. Um, if seeks were always better than scans, then why would they even build scans into the product? What would be the point? If seeks were always faster, why would there be scans? Like, why would there be an intentionally slow thing? Why? Just to mess with you? No, I don't think so. Anyway, uh, whenever I'm tuning queries, whenever I'm looking uh, for obvious anti-patterns, things to uh, start picking apart, um, or or conditions and joins are one of the first places that I, I stop and look because they will um, almost always be a pretty big tripping point and a great way to, um, to identify when they are, uh, when they, you know, are like in a query plan when they're causing issues. I'm not going to rerun this thing and make you sit there for 14 seconds again, but when you see uh, that pattern in query plans where you see uh, uh, constant scans and all this other stuff and nested loops and a seek. That's usually when I start getting nervous and when I start wanting to rewrite things either as union or union all, kind of depending on, you don't know, what kind of mood I'm in. Well, you know, union makes things uh, distinct and union all does not. So there's u generally a penalty with union distinctifying things. We've spend a lot of time in some other videos talking about the pain that comes from distinctifying things, but uh, there are times when uh, distinctness can be uh, useful. So if you're going to choose between union and union all, I usually start with union all, see if, see how it goes. Uh, then if, uh, if that goes successfully, I might also try union just to see if um, uh, eliminating duplicates buys me anything, and if not, then switch back to union all, but always test between one and the other. Make sure that you realize that there is a logical difference between the two and that um, there are times when you might need duplicates to get correct results. 
Anyway, that's all I have to say here.